glad you asked, and that's something that a lot of people are often unclear about. So I would say yes, there's definitely a difference between worry and anxiety. Worry is usually tied to something specific. So for instance, I might be worried about an evaluation that I'm about to have with my boss and worried about how it will go. Anxiety is much more global, and oftentimes we'll talk about anxiety being excessive worry or something that's consuming or something that can be impairing. So for instance, if I have so much anxiety that when I go into my work environment, I'm controlled by that anxiety and have a difficult time even just interacting with those around me. It's also critical to acknowledge that in this time in this country, especially for people of color and African Americans, there's a heightened likelihood for anxiety with everything that's happened with these unjust killings. Even the Anxiety and Depression Association of America has acknowledged that these social and racial traumas and stressors can increase people's susceptibility for mental health challenges. And having yourself exposed to traumas, especially seeing people that look like you killed unjustly can definitely increase people's likelihood to have to deal with the challenges of anxiety. Well, even in that question, you've already taken the first important step, which is acknowledging that the anxiety is there. The second step, which I've said in other situations, is to make sure that we're in authentic community with other people. Being in community with other people can help us move through the anxiety by having someone that we can talk to that can give us a different perspective on some of these things. It's also important to stay rooted in the Word of God where we can read about God's perspective on us in these challenging situations. But in times of anxiety, it can also be helpful to have times to pray and pause or reflect even in a moment of anxiety. There are also things that we can do proactively, so trying to maintain a good wake time and sleeping time, trying to have good exercise routines and good goal setting for the day. But obviously these are challenging situations once we find ourselves overwhelmed with anxiety or if we're finding ourselves dealing with anxiety because of everything that's happening in the world today, especially around some of these social injustices that we've talked about. So in some circumstances, it's also important to be open to talking to professionals that can also help us move through these different challenges and think about different ways either to view ourselves or our situations or our challenges. Sometimes it's helpful to be open to medication that can help people move out of the state of struggling with anxiety into a place where they can have more of these conversations to move forward. And to be honest, when we really think about some of the injustices that are happening, even that, some of those steps in themselves aren't enough. We need to be open to allowing God to work in us to change our hearts, to change our interactions with our fellow human beings, how we interact with them, to change systemic policies that have allowed some of these injustices to continue to occur, which can lead to more anxiety, and to allow God to change all of us to really make a change in terms of how we interact with each other, how we treat each other, and how we speak about each other.